I am just so excited to see this match on stream. This is the loser's top eight. The winner moves on to face Shogi in bracket. And we have Cray versus Momo. And Cray getting all the way here, mostly from the winner's side. Momo, however, with a bit of a loser's run building up here over Neon and, and Moth, aka Legiacris, if that's how you know him better. He recently changed the tag to Moth. Yeah, Sam finally made it over him this season, starting it off quite well. And then Prey, another story here. And today he was gifted a Wii U with Smash Bros, and he finally can play this at home and practice even more. And he's already been such an excellent player as of late. So this will allow him to just elevate his play even more with practice. I think the score for both of these two. Only one of these two can move on to top five today, top six, whatever. Uh, this is already quite a match so far. Some great pressure with Nair's trapping Prey where Sam wants him to be. Back though, Air Dodge read, he does read it. And gets the forward air off that. However, a little knockback on that. It's not gonna be able to kill Fox. That will hurt. And just how fast Illusion is, he was able to recover so quickly. But regardless of that, Momo found a great opportunity to set up a stage back there. And he executed it flawlessly. Right, landing down air, tech chase, positioned himself a little early though. Missing that up smash well. Okay. I'm trying to not offer him any opportunity when he's at the ledge. Okay. I like the needle cancel there. Baiting him into shield to get a grab off of that. Very well placed up for that too. Catching Momo retreating back a little bit there. A little bit closer to Fox as well. Right. And we're not seeing Momo with as much of the steam as he had on that first dog. He's getting a lot more pokes here, and that's allowing Kray to build up the damage right back up. That is that Fox combo. Good work, okay. Using the Vanish recovery right there to force Kray to respect him there. Trying to get the fair bouncy fish to find it off of that sweet spot there. That does not respect the Vanish that time, and he will be aptly punished. Not back, however, finds a way to get Momo to keep Momo at the ledge. Batting down or up smash, that will take it for game one for Kray. Oh, Right on. So what I'm liking from Momo right now is how he is mixing up his options. I feel like he's applying pressure very well as well. The one thing that I'm not seeing from him is recognition of how Things are gonna string up sometimes. How do I like this better? Um, where he gets a hit and he's expecting the combo into that hit. I feel like he has an aggressive momentum right now. Aggressive kind of momentum going right now. Which will put him in disadvantage if he messes up his combo game. Which is where Kray has found a few of his punishes and opportunity. As well as one thing that I'm not sure Momo's really watching out for, he's been caught by this twice, only the second time was where it converted into a kill, is how Kray will go for landing down airs near, or not landing down, landing down airs, he'll mix it up too, with non auto cancel down air, but he's mostly looking for that hit confirm into an up smash tech chase, or just an up smash in general with the amount of hits on the untouchable uh, spin, you know, all that. I feel like Momo's not respecting that very well. I'm not putting him up. That's giving uh, Kray a bigger opportunity to take the stock. Okay, wow, this is a shiny sheep. Holy. Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright. So both these two setting up here, Kray with the stage control catching the right time of Momo coming in to get that up till almost started. Okay. 
Yeah, see right there, he's putting a lot of pressure right there and it put him at the ledge and Craig capitalized off because he's a bad advantageous state and now he's found a stock too off of Momo over committing there. Kind of what I mean right there with how he's overextending something. But he's not going to overextend something right there. Finding the mark of the bouncing push just not the stock for it. Okay. He does find the stock! That was beautiful! Right on! Well used of the well used to banish right there. Catch using the back throw as a DI mix up as well and reading your dodge. That's just so beautiful to see when you get to see those uh, grab mix ups. Get it all off. All right, and now Momo's evening things up. It's kind of a reverse thing of the previous game where Cray was the one moving to up here. Mm -hmm. And the cross up backer right there. He tries to keep the pressure going. He does find it successfully there with that last quarter, but he is forced to retreat back and respects Cray's recovery there. Not risking that down or he's dead! That was so abrupt too. Cray just landed with that so fast. And now he's up two games here. Wow. Where is the scenery going to be taking place for this final game? What stage are we set to? Final destination! Now see, I think, don't quote me on this, I think this is the longest stage of the is this No, it's not. <laughs> this is regular FD stuff. So. Um, okay, um... Don't quote me on this, but I believe that FD is the longest width stage, the, wide, the widest stage, from left to right, right? So, on this stage, both players, I think, can actually stand just outside of the range of their opponent's projectiles of laser and needles, and I believe lasers go further, too. So that's definitely quite interesting. Not really playing too much of a factor in this match here. Whether I understand why Momo takes this CFD or not, this is more important to highlight how even this is. Jeez. Okay. Momo has a very aggressive tendency to try to juggle Kray or just attack him when he's landing like that. That's where Kray is beginning a lot of his downers. It looks like he's not respected those with shield once. Okay. Opportunity to redeem himself here. I think he's out of the percent where Downer will actually set up for an up smash, true, unless he gets an attackable roll. Okay. I like that from Momo, actually. I like that from both people, really. It was a creative mix up on Gray's part to force Momo to respect him. That time he does get it! Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting that to work this time, but Cray actually set that up correctly. It was very good knowing where Momo was gonna go there off of that tech chase. Okay. I feel like a common theme of this set really has been respect and... Mm, there's another word for it that I can't think of right now. It's just... Respect on the opposite of respect. That's what I see from the set here. Wow, I like I like that. That's so cool. That, that, that just looks so cool. <laughs> Sheik is so awesome. Wow. Yeah, th that's just one of those reasons I love Sheik is that technical stuff that she can do, right? <laughs> anyway, regardless of my uh, bias, biases of the character, it's important to note how Prey has quite a lead here. And he's applying so much pressure. Unteckable stage spike, he's not going to make it back. Right. This is game time here. I really like that up air fall up off the down, so that was very good catching the DI in. Okay. Momo needs to find, an, find some way to get a big combo racked up right now, I feel. Stage control could be good too. He could set up something really deadly on Grey. That's that! 
Craze so successful with that option. Gonna take it over Momo. Three. Oh. That is the set. Moving on to face show.